TMZ Sports, Mike Babcock, Lucas Whitman in the house, and there is an amazing MMA event going down this Friday morning featuring one of the absolutely best MMA promotions in the world. Of course, I am talking about One Championship. Now, they are having an event called One Revolution, and this card, Lucas, features not one, not two, but three world title fights. Now, that is absolutely a rarity in combat sports. If you watch fights, you know. Just having one title fight alone is exciting. Two, great. But again, three is something that doesn't happen, but that's exactly what is going down Friday morning. Three title fights. Yeah, Babcock, there is a lightweight world championship, a bantamweight kickboxing world championship, and a strawweight world championship as well. But it's not just the title fights that we are excited about because there is a guy named James Yang, a 32-year-old man who has been dubbed Demetrius Johnson's protege. Demetrius Johnson, Mighty Mouse, arguably the greatest MMA fighter of all time. Well, his protege, James Yang, is making his professional debut, his first pro fight ever. Now you ask, why did he wait so long? Well, he was doing a bunch of really awesome stuff like Lucas living in a Shaolin temple as a teenager in rural China and performing with Cirque du Soleil. So this guy is MMA's most interesting man and he is about to fight and I had the opportunity, it was a pleasure to actually speak with James and I asked him about his experiences in that Shaolin martial arts academy and let's just say it was wild and dangerous. I was living in like rural China and it was out in the farmlands where we had no, we had barely any heat. We had no internet. We had, you know, it's very, very bad. And, and just the living conditions were just horrible. But for me, you know, I, I didn't think it was that bad. I didn't think that adversity is something that made me who I am, made me who I am today. So, you know, some people look at it as a bad thing, but for me, I, I looked at it as a be- all beneficial. You know, we we're you know subjected to the weather, the elements, uh, swarms of 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 spiders and, and different insects. You know, snakes in the summertime. It was just a crazy time, man. And you know, on the, on the weekends, we could go to the city to go get to go to like internet cafes, and, and that would just be for you know like the weekend. And the closest city was about an hour away, so we had you know it takes a bit to get out there. But once we got out there, you know, at that time in China, foreigners weren't so welcome. Uh, in that city um, and the city I was living in was near North Korea, uh, Russia is up in that area. And in that city, yeah, when, when they, they saw foreigners, they knew that they were from the martial art academy and they would like pick fights. And I seen guys get bottled in the head. I had knives pulled on me, you know, th- these kind of things happen, you know, out, out there. And, um, but it made me stronger. It didn't make me weak or anything. I saw a lot of things, a lot of fights go down. That was pretty wild things like guys getting headbutted on the face and the ground and, it was just wild times, man, and, and yeah, but I survived it, and I made it, and I, I'm here, so it is all beneficial to me. Full disclosure, Babcock, I didn't know who this guy was until this week, but I'll tell you what, after hearing his story, that is so interesting, and it's like a movie. I want to see what he does on Friday, and I'm so excited to check it out. Absolutely, and I think a lot of people will have that same sentiment. People who are not familiar with him because James hasn't fought before, right? This is his first fight. So, look, one championship has a massive audience. This The fight is actually going down in Singapore. The reason I keep saying Friday morning is because there is a big time difference. So, the fight goes down actually in Singapore, but this thing is is going across the world. This, this is a global event, and a lot of people are about to be very familiar with James Yang. All of these fighters are tremendous athletes, but he has that thing that makes people really famous and, and really draws fans to him. He has a great backstory, and to battle the no internet, the snakes, the bottles, the, the knives, it's a crazy story. You mentioned a movie. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a movie about this guy's life later on, but Friday morning, this guy is going to fight for the first time, and, and he, he has literally just said that all of those really wild experiences have made him the fighter that he is, and, and I can't wait to see what that looks like when he actually steps foot in the cage. If you want to watch this fight, it goes down 6.30 a.m. Eastern, Friday morning. It is live on Bleacher Report, on Bleacher Report's app, and on their YouTube channel. Again, Friday, 6.30 a.m. I will definitely be watching that.